welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a very long time since I have recorded, but life has been life and, and I just wanted to pop in with a really, really, really quick video of encouragement. Nothing long, you know, just a little something just to, you know, help you along your way, okay? So today, I just wanted to pop in and encourage you to jump back in there, get back out there, and do whatever it is that God has called you to do, regardless of the chaos that may be going on all around you, right? So a lot of times when we get on to YouTube, or to Facebook, or to Instagram, or TikTok, or what else is out there, y'all? I mean, oh my God, so many different apps where we can actually well, we can actually visibly be seen, right? So a lot of times when we pop on, we want to be picture ready, right? We want to be picture perfect. We want to have this done. We want to have that done. We want to make sure our face is beat, okay? We want to make sure we got on a five pair of earrings for our ladies. We want to make sure that our, our lipstick is popping. We want to make sure our hair is on point. This shirt is, is doing what it's doing. The nails are nailing, okay? The nails are doing what they're doing and mine are not because I just have not had the time to do probably anything for Ashley, but that's okay though. The word of the Lord still has to proceed. It still has to go forward, right? So I came on here to encourage you to get back out there. Do not let what you look like stop you from doing what God has called you to do. Do not allow what is going on around you, the chaos around you. I have four loads of clothes over here on the floor uh, with a pile of rugs that I gotta wash. My kitchen table over here, look, it's got what, a bent up bottle of water, drawings from the children. It's got all kinds of stuff, okay, going on over here. My table is in shambles, all right? My couch pillows, they're not where they're supposed to be. Everything is just in disarray and thrown around. But guess what? The word of the Lord still has to go forth. There's still somebody that needs the encouragement there's still somebody who needs to hear okay that they can push through and they can make it another day with the help of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ okay so a lot of times like I said we get on here uh, or we only want to get on here when we look a certain way okay we want things to be perfect and nothing in our lives are perfect can I help you can I let you know and help you to understand that people do not relate to people who are perfect the broken they don't relate to people who are perfect they relate to people who are relatable people who have gone through certain situations and circumstances okay they want you real they want you raw they want you authentic that's what makes you relatable what makes you relatable is the fact that you're human you're like everybody else okay look if my skin is shining it is it's greasy you know why it's greasy because eczema has just try to take over my life with the seasons changing okay but that's okay I don't care she doesn't care honey the the ponytail is just doing what it's supposed to do okay she ain't had no retwist in a few weeks but that's okay I don't have a makeup or earrings but that's okay because guess what what has to be done has to be done workout shirt just got finished working out praise the Lord finally getting back on the ball with that but listen there's somebody who needs the encouragement there's somebody that's waiting on you. Do you know that there's only a certain sector of people that you can reach specifically with your story? Do you know that there are people that are attached to you that's waiting to hear how God brought you out of what they're, they're currently struggling in? Do you know that? Instead of, you know, pointing them to somebody else because you don't really want to share your story or instead of saying, well, you know, I don't have a cute shirt to put on today and I'm mostly talking to my ladies because I don't think the dudes really care. But, you know, sometimes we're like, well, you know, my hair is not together. My face ain't beat. So I can't get on here and I can't say nothing to anybody because I'm not, I don't look the part. But can I tell you that people want to hear the truth? It don't matter if your face is not even shown. Matter of fact, don't show your face then, okay? Record the floor, record a scripture, okay? Record the wall or something. Don't show your face if it's that deep, but do not stop delivering the word of hope. Do not stop delivering the word of God because you are afraid, number one, because you feel like you don't look the part. Number two, it doesn't matter what we look like the word of the lord still has to go forth okay so in the book of jeremiah in the first chapter here we find the prophet of god he he didn't even know that he was a prophet at the moment 
was called and was chosen, handpicked by God. And the scripture says, this is Jeremiah 1 uh, verse 3. It says, the word of the Lord came to me. I chose you before I formed you in the womb. I set you apart before you were born. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. But I protested, oh no, Lord God. Look, I don't know how to speak since I'm only a youth. Then the Lord said to me, do not say I am only a youth. For you will go to everyone I send you to and speak whatever I tell you. Do not be afraid of anyone. This is the key verse here. Do not be afraid of anyone for I will be with you to rescue you. This is the Lord's declaration. And then verse 9 says, Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and told me, Now I have filled your mouth with my words. See, I have appointed you today over the nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and demolish, to build and to plant. So there are so many of you that the Lord has called to build and to plant and to uproot and to dismantle, but you're too worried about what people are going to have to say to you. Oh, that's good right there. You're too worried about what people got to say about you. You're too worried about what you look like. You're too worried about what you're going to say. It says here, it doesn't matter. The Lord is going to fill your mouth. He's, he's asking you to go. That's all he's asking. He's asking you to be obedient and to go. And as you go, as you move forward and you press forward and you begin to start whatever that ministry is that God's placed upon your heart, he is going to give you the words to speak. Okay? He's going to tell you what to say. So don't worry about what you look like. Don't worry about the faces of other people. Okay? You be obedient and you do what God has called you to do. For there is a specific set of people that only you can reach. A specific set of people that only you can reach. I'm going to tell you a quick story and then I'm going to go. So as you know, you know I have a podcast and uh, which is Resilient Women Win Podcast. You can listen to it where all podcasts are streaming or you can also listen to it here on YouTube on my channel, right? Okay, so um, I'm a part of this group and it's a group with a, um, a bunch of young ladies in it and we're all just pressing forward, just trying to do what, you know, what God has called us to do. And there are some that may even be trying to find their purpose and, you know, just clarify what the call of the Lord is on their life. Lives. So this particular weekend, I was exhausted. I kind of felt like the enemy had just inflicted so much pain and um, and frustration, and it was a spirit of exhaustion that had been released upon me. And so all I wanted to do was just lay around and just mope. And I kept hearing the Holy Spirit say, "You need to record. You need to record." So when I finally recorded, right? finally recorded because it was another voice and it wasn't the Holy Spirit. I know it was the enemy that was saying, well, you're tired. You know, you can do it next week. Don't do it today. They just kept pressing. You don't have to do it today. You're tired. Just, just take a rest. You're tired. But I pressed on, recorded the podcast episode anyway, and I thank God that I did. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that I did. I'm so grateful to God that I actually recorded that podcast episode, okay? So I recorded the podcast episode, and the, which I did it on a Friday, on a Friday night, a Friday afternoon. And so one of the girls in the group listened to the podcast, right? We had exchanged numbers, and um, uh, she well, actually she found my number uh, within the group because you know if you're in a group chat, you know you can go and you know look at the folks who was in there, you can get the number, or whatever. So she got my number from there, and she texted me, and she basically said in a nutshell. Thank you so much for recording this episode. And I think that episode, the title of it was The Power of You, if I'm not mistaken. And then she had went back and she listened to um, uh, my testimony. As a matter of fact, no, it was um, Conquering Rejection. I think it was the episode with, with Bridget and myself um, uh, where we were recording. So um, she listened to the episode and the word of the Lord that was ministered through Bridget and myself. I kept this woman from doing something that she would have later regretted. So she shared with me that that was the, she had made up in her mind, she had been going through so many things, but she had made up in her mind that that was the last weekend that she was going to be alive. That was the last weekend that she was gonna live and she was gonna take her life 
on that Sunday and she listened to the podcast on that Saturday and she said thank you so much you gave me hope thank you so much for sharing your story because I've gone through similar things thank you for talking about the domestic violence that you had went through because I was going through the similar similar situation that you were going through so you see how imperative it is for us to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit so when there's a pressing on you for you to record a video even if it's just you know you reading the scripture you don't have to show your face just be obedient to the Holy Spirit you don't know who is attached to what God is having you to release you don't know who's attached to and had I not recorded she wouldn't have been here she wouldn't have been here you see how detrimental it is for us to walk unapologetically in what God has called us to do so don't worry about the chaos around you don't worry about the midst of the situation. If you if your house looked that bad, then go sit in your car and record. Now I'm specifically talking to my digital creators. Go sit in your car and record. Go do what God has told you to do by any means necessary because he is requiring you, okay, to whom is much, whom much is given, much is required. So I'm pretty sure the Lord has given you so much. So he's requiring you to be obedient. And you never know what lies on the other side of your obedience. Amen. That's it. That's all I got. Simple, quick, to the point. Don't worry about what you look like. Do what God has called you to do. Thank you guys so much for listening to all of my old subscribers, new subscribers. I greatly appreciate you. If you want to continue to hear from me, hit that bell notification as well as subscribe. And you can also follow me on social media. All of my links are below. Follow me over there and uh, shoot me a DM. You know, let me know, hey, I'm, I'm from YouTube and I've, I've been rocking with you for a while. Hey, I'm from YouTube, I just subscribed. But if this has blessed you, drop it down in the comments. Let me know, hey, this is me. Put the hand uh, emoji up. If you're a man, put the dude up. If you're a girl, put the girl up. You know, with a hand raised, like, hey, it was me, you was talking to me. I know that God has called me to do some things too, but I've just kind of been a little complacent. All right, all right, I love you guys and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.